Is there any chance we are going to see the salt cap raised? I hope so. Uh, I've been um, I've been very annoying on on salt in the last couple of weeks, uh, and um, put out a, a letter that was signed by um, seven or eight of my uh, House Democratic colleagues, in, in which we what it basically said was that we're not going to allow uh, the passage of any bill that um, meaningfully affects our constituents' taxes. So basically anything that might raise individual rates at any income level, uh, unless the, the, that bill addresses the salt cap issue. Um, so uh, I love Biden's infrastructure bill, but once we start getting into uh, uh, taxes to pay for any of this or for the next bill that he has said he will be proposing, which will deal with things like uh, education, student loans, um, healthcare, workforce development, uh, then I, I can't, you know, I can't vote for a bill that, that raises our taxes without um, dealing with SALT. And right now, at least, there are enough of us in the House to uh, be able to, to block a bill um, on that basis. So we have some leverage. Uh, so that's, you know, uh, that's not a guarantee of success. Um, our chances of success uh, will be the greatest, the more of this broader agenda is actually moving through the House and Senate. Obviously, if things get completely bottled up uh, in the Senate, we'll probably have a chance to talk about filibusters and, uh, and Joe Manchin and all of that complicated stuff. But the more is moving, then the more leverage I have to um, demand that, that, that we address SALT. And there are different ways to address it. Um, I'd like to see it fully restored, because I, I think as a matter of principle, the federal government should not be taking money that another government has already taken that we've never seen, right? It's, it's taken out of our paycheck, but, and yet it's taxed uh, a second time. So it makes no sense. That's just a principle that's been in the tax code since we've had an income tax uh, and it was taken away in 2017. But, um, you know, if there's another way to provide relief to folks, uh, particularly uh, those who need it the most, I'm thinking of that young couple buying their first home. I'm thinking of uh, a retired uh, couple who doesn't want to move out of Jersey. You want to stay closer to your grandkids, but you're on a fixed income. Uh, anything that will help um, folks like that with uh, the added burden that the salt cap created, um, I'm open to and hope that we will have an opportunity to use that leverage that a handful of us uh, have uh, have on this.